my hands. I'm really awkward okay. with them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Position myself a little bit. Actually, if you stand back. Yeah, you stand back. Okay. All right. We are here at Epping Middle High School, and I am here with Soretta, the lady who brought all of these people out tonight to the school board meeting over a simple t shirt. And I want to say thank you for taking a couple minutes. We've yeah, of course, time. yeah. So, what did you think of the people who were talking today about you and about the actions that were um, taken? Well, I think that everyone is really going the right direction. I think everyone being civil and being really positive about it is what this community needs. I don't think that people should be, you know, breaking Epping down. Epping as a community is a very good community, you know, but like what some of the speakers said, when bad things happen, we tend to just come up and really just work together and, you know, really just come together and like make, Ep make Epping on the map, you know, be proud. So I'm really just happy that everyone was just being super civil and being really um, nice and positive. You know, I don't think, I wasn't expecting it, honestly. I was expecting a little bit of a bloodbath, but I'm very happy it didn't take that turn. So, yeah, and I think I speak for everyone when I say that, that I'm very happy. And how have your fellow students treated you with all of this attention that has gone national and yeah. even international? Yeah, well, um, a lot of kids are supporting me. Like, I have my two best friends here with me tonight just to support me. Cindy Ferris and Morgan Whitmer, they're my rocks, you know. They're the people that have been there for me through it all. So I really have them, and if I have them, that's really all I need. But I do have, clearly, a lot of people supporting me. And the good definitely outrules the bad, which is what I like to hear, so. How about from your teachers? Have they said anything, or have they kind of shied away? Um, they haven't really said anything. A lot of my teachers have just been like, have just kind of like not said anything, kind of shied away, I guess. Um, you know, I am, I am hoping that I'm not going to get backlash from my teachers. I don't think I will. I have a very good relationship with every single one of my teachers, and I support all of them dearly, and I respect all of them dearly. So I don't think I'll get backlash, and I think I'll be okay. But you know, there always could be that possibility. Did you ever expect anything like this happening when you walked out of your door with your t-shirt on that faithful I morning was... this would turn into this? <laughs> I was expecting a little bit of backlash from my fellow peers, but like just like little comments I guess, but I did not think that it was gonna turn into this huge, huge story that's now international. I was not, I was not thinking that it was gonna be that big, so it's definitely insane. What is the takeaway that you hope people will have gotten? Respect. Respect is the number one point that I'm trying to make throughout my whole entire story. Sorry, my best friends over there. <laughs> um, yeah, respect. You know, I think that in our society, we are not learning respect. I think, and I think we need to be. You know, we need to learn how to respect other people's opinions. If you don't like someone else's opinion, and you can't be nice when you say that you disagree, don't talk. Keep your mouth closed. You know, it's like what we learned in kindergarten. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And that's just how I feel. And I think people don't know how to be civil and how to be calm when they talk about their differences. So, yeah. Well, I think that's all for me to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you for taking it. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. And congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>